welcome to all so now we will be learning how to how to predict the how to estimate the date time and how to apply it in the microcontroller coding for the complementary pulses in sign pwm anyway this is not for the beginners who are already working with sign pwm and the complementary pulses so for them only i am making this so that <coughs> it will be much more easier to handle it so basically this is the code so here you see this is the non inverting pwm <coughs> I am not telling details about details about the code that may be available in some other video in my channels. You can see that. And here you see some value I have deducted. So basically, this is giving you this. This will predict the uh, complementary pulses. Sorry, this will predict the uh, date time. So how? If we put some value, how much date time will be there and all that we will see now. Okay. So, first we have to understand what should be the PWM frequency. Okay. What should be the PWM frequency? So, to understand the PWM frequency, we have to go to this to register because we have used the timer, uh, timer 1. So, this timer counter uh, control register 1a and 1b so in that the wgm bits the waveform generation bits are responsible for the resolution of the pwm let us see that <coughs> So first we go for the TCCR1A. So this is the TCCR1A register. So here WGM11 and WGM10 it is there. And another this is the uh, first two LSB of TCCR1A register. And other two bits are there in third and fourth. Third and fourth bit of TCCR 1B. So now we see in code how much we have given. So here 1 1 and this is 0 1 2 3 4. So this 2. So basically we have used double zero double one in the code. So double zero double one means we will go now this one. Double zero double one means it is satisfying this this mode mode 3. So this is this is 10 bit phase correct pwm okay now you go to the pwm frequency calculation so in phase correct mode this is the pwm frequency calculation which is the clock the system clock divided by 2 into prescaler so here we have used the prescaler so what is the prescaler bit so these three are the prescaler bit 0, 0, 001 so if you see that 0, 0, 001 means no prescaler it will be as it is if you see the prescaler setting this is the prescaler setting so it will be if it is 0, 0, 001 this cs12 cs11 and cs10 bits if it is 0, 0, 001 there is no prescaling okay so these are there in the tccr1b register this uh, last 3 lsb okay so in this calculation your n is 1 and top means this is the maximum count so as it is 10 bit so 10 bits means it will be a 2 to the power 10 that means 1024 so now your pwm frequency this pwm frequency it will be 8 megahertz uh, sorry 16 megahertz 
divided by 2 into prescalar 1 into divided by uh, top value that is 1024 okay so that this if you calculate so it will come as so it is 16 16 mega divided by 2048 so it will come 7812.5 hertz <coughs> 7812 hertz 7812.5 hertz okay so now this this period of the pwm it will be accomplished it will be completed after this 1024 count okay so that means now the time period if t t is equal to 1 by s so that means this divided by 1 divided by this so 1 divided by 7 8 1 2 point 5 so that is that means 0 0.00128 0 0.00128 so this much second so in 1024 count after 1024 count this much second will elapsed so par count par count per count time time in second so that means still it is it is to be divided by 1024 divided by 1024 so this is you can see this is 0.125 microsecond 0.125 microsecond okay so now if i go to the code here suppose i have given say eighty count less for the complementary pulse so 80 count means 0.125 into 80 so it is 10 microsecond so my output this 10 microsecond it should come so let us check that My PC is very slow. Okay. So So now these are the two complementary paths. I'll give a pause. Now this time difference. So you check. 
this is so just let me enlarge some more okay so you see this yellow line it is how much 31.5 and you see this is 26.5 so 31 minus 26 uh, 31 minus 26 so it is 5 so this side 5 and that side 5 total 10 microsecond okay this side 5 microsecond and that side okay let me take so if you see this side 5 microsecond and that side 5 microsecond you can take another instant here so you see this is around 131 and this is sorry 131 and this is 126 so it is around 5 and this side also it is 5 so now you can understand you can see the <coughs> data sheet of your igbt or mosfet how much uh, date time is given there so t on and t off so you can find out the maximum of that among which one is maximum and based on that using this calculation you can apply the uh, date time so hope this video will be helpful to apply date time in the microcontroller code thank you so much